there's really strong reasons why and good reasons why patients should be hopeful. I think um, our expectation now is that patients will respond well to treatment, which it certainly wasn't the case a decade ago. I mean, we would hope they would do well, but we couldn't expect them to do well. In my practice, where I go to see a lot of patients who have failed all the treatments, um, 10 or 15 years ago, most patients died of their disease in a relatively short period of time. I think now our expectation is they won't die of the disease, they'll respond to treatments. And even when they fail the first treatment, we have another treatment being, you know, sort of already in development. So, so the, and the combinations are really exciting. So we're now getting uh, patient, a large proportion of patients where we can't detect the disease anymore with non-chemotherapy. So I think the, uh, it's a really exciting time now for doctors, scientists working in CLR for patients because I think the options are much better than they were even five years ago. And uh, those, those therapies are really getting into the real world very quickly. So we're seeing uh, the impact you know, in, in patients not on trials and around the world uh, already.